In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? All right, all right. I thought, you know, everybody's seen that Ronald Reagan video. Let's put a dancing alien in there, because that's what we all think about some of these uh, conferences, you know. But the truth of the matter is, I remember, uh, actually, over the weekend, um, Ron from Cosmic Neighbors did a did a, did a a show, and he talked about, you know, the conference, about you know, what's your expectations for it? You know, what is our expectations for this conference that's on the 26th? Are we excited? Are we hoping that we hear things that we want to hear? I mean, what is the feeling? The, 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 is there energy or is it just, ah, here we go again. Right. You know, I mean, what is it? What is it in this UFO conference that's coming up? What's our ex expectations? What's your expectations? Everybody in the chat. What, what's, what's your expectations? What do you want to hear? What do you want to see? You know, what are you hoping to, to get out of it? You know, for me, I don't have any expectations. I'm going into this thing with zero expectations. So I'm going in there to hope that they blow us away. Uh, you know, are they going to blow us away? I don't know. I don't know. Are they going to tell us anything new? I don't know. Are these so-called whistleblowers they're bringing to the uh, panel? Going to tell us anything new that's beyond just story with facts? I don't know. I don't know. You know, listen, this is this is their opportunity to, um, for this conference, this is their opportunity to change a lot of our minds who think that these uh, conferences are a joke. It, this is... This is their time. This is their chance. Blow me away. Listen, even though I think we're going to learn nothing, I want to be 100% wrong. I want to come out of there like, oh, wow. What that is, I don't know. I honestly don't know. What do I need to hear that's going to be like, okay, that's good. That's good, right? Because – Policies, or they're fighting for uh, uh, certain laws for whistleblowers to come out more. You know, it, it, it's like the same old argument, same old talks. And I always feel that they have um, files that they have like these stack of files, right? Stack of files. They could be they could be disclassified, but they hold on to them just to call them classified. So some kind of law pass, or they want to look like to the American people that. See, these laws are going to make a change. These files are now declassified, but they're basically nothing. They're basically nothing. So what are we looking for? What do you want to hear? I'm just going to look in the chat to see what are you guys looking for? Cosmic Neighbors, which had an awesome conversation about this on Saturday. We are, we start, uh, we, we start going to hear the same stories. We have been hearing for years at the end of the day, the debate will continue. And unfortunately, I feel you, and I think you're probably right. You know? and and it, But it's almost like, I don't know, right? You know, Ron, you know what I mean? Like, can they be that stupid? And, and what I mean is, can they actually go into another conference and really not give us something because otherwise our conversations about them never showing anything it's just going to get worse and worse to a point that's going to build 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 and then we're going to explode you know or are they going to try to 
pretend to give you something extra that really doesn't change the outcome of you leaning one way or not. And you guys all know what we're talking about. We're not talking about, you know, leaning more of um, identify spy planes and stuff. We all want the the stuff that's the UFOs that are from another planet. That's what we're all really, truly, truly looking for. You know what I mean? That's what we're we're looking for. Now, I was on I was on my my favorite social media platform, uh, Reddit. I love Reddit. You know, I I get into a lot of great arguments. You know, where uh, somebody said to me, and, and and guys, we're gonna dissect the the uh, representative um of uh, video in a second. Uh, you know that video uh by uh, uh Butchit. I call him Bullshit. Butchit. Represented bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. We call him bullshit. Represented bullshit. So you've represented bullshit. You know, uh, I was going to argue. He was like, Eric, they don't owe you guys. They, they don't owe anybody nothing. They don't. Aren't all these investigations? Aren't everything that's run through the government with our taxpayers' money? So, because they use our taxpayers' money, yes, they do owe us. They do. If it was a private sector investigating or something and they're using their own money, their own funds, that's not coming from us, you're right. They don't owe us nothing. But once they use your tax dollar money, it's like you 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 know, you're paying into the system. Yes, then that moment in time, you do deserve to know because they're using our money for their own investigations. Everybody they hire for these investigations to join the uh, whatever Arrow Club, whatever freaking club, Bat Club, Bat Club, I don't know, LG Club, Dude Club, whatever, whatever. They're using your tax dollar money to hire all these experts and stuff. So if they're using your taxpayer's money, then yes, they do owe us. Otherwise, don't use our money. Create the money for somewhere else. You know, like NASA. NASA is funded by the government, which is funded by us. So we do have the right to information, especially when we put all these people into office. Let's not forget about that. We put these people in office. So they work for us. They represent us. So they should show us. Now, now we know that the, the uh, rep put out a video. And we're gonna um, we're gonna play some of the video, and we're gonna dissect the video of the representative bullshit came out with over the weekend, Friday or whatever. And then we're gonna pause it here and there, and we're gonna dissect on what he said. So let's all, if you haven't seen um the representative bullshit from Tennessee, um, speak about it. Well, he's gonna speak, and we're gonna pause it. Let's see. Great. Awesome. I don't even know if it's... Um, this is awesome. Give me some, looks like, again, some reason, there's a, uh, uh, there's a issue. There is an issue with StreamYard and Google Chrome. Where I can't play a video. So what am I going to do here? So give me a second. So I, I got to think what I'm going to do here. Because I really want to show this video. You know what I'll do? Give me, give, give me one second, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to pop up um, uh, Microsoft Edge. There's some. There's something with StreamYard. And um, that's I, I don't know why. I, I, I honestly don't know why. So give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to jump in. Give me one second. So I'm going to I'm going to drop off. I'm going to drop off for one second. But I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I have to use a different browser. I, I thought I thought the uh, the issue was fixed, and I, I apologize for that. But I'm back. Um, just um, guys, can you guys um, tell me in the chat now if you see me, real quick? Again, I, I I apologize for this. It's it's not me. It's not some something happened with StreamYard and Chrome. Something happened. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It, it, are, 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 are they trying to uh, uh, are they trying to shut me up? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to shut me up. I, it's the weirdest thing. I don't I don't know what's going on with StreamYard and Google Chrome. I, I no now my, my my background is different than I had, but maybe but now I'll be able to, to play that video. Here, let me get back in again. Again, I know now for the rest of the week, I'm just going to start using the Microsoft Edge over Google. It just it's it's still weird to me that why it doesn't work. What happened? But you know what happened? Let me find that video that I'm talking about. Let me find that video. God, I'm so sorry about that, guys. There's nothing frustrating. Especially when you're paying for a service, right? I'm paying money to um, StreamYard to not have, you know, do not have issues. Drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. You know what? I'll get the video because now I'm on a uh, StreamYard is very buggy. Yeah. Yeah. Cosmic. Yeah. Ron. It's just, just last week. And it it's... It's only when I use uh when I use Google Chrome now, and I never had an issue with Google Chrome. It doesn't work on Safari, so now I got to use Microsoft Edge, and it's kind of weird. But let me get the video up on this other channel, and let me play that um, Ronald Reagan intro one more time, so I get the video ready. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war. Actually, uh, Gampro, I updated my Chrome over the weekend, and when I tested it before the show, my intro, I could see it. So I thought everything was good to go until I can't pull up videos. So I don't know. I mean, we we gonna do right? What are you gonna do? If it works on if it works on Microsoft Edge, then I'm just gonna use Microsoft Edge. It is what it is. All right. All right, here we go. Let's listen to this. Thank y'all for being here today. Um, I'm Tim Burchett from Tennessee's second congressional district. And we're gonna have some uh, the rest of the Congress folks are gonna fill in here in a second. Um, Next Wednesday, July 26th at 10 a.m., the House Oversight Committee will hold a hearing on, on unidentified anomalous phenomena, UAPs. I prefer to call them UFOs. It will be held by the Oversight Committee on National Security, the Border, and Foreign Affairs. The witnesses will be as follows. Follow. David Grush, he's a decorated former combat officer who served in Afghanistan, and he recently told the World News about his experiences serving on a UAP task force led by the U.S. Navy from 2019 to 2022. Commander David Fravor, he's a former Navy commander who shot the famous Tic Tac video that you've seen, it's on YouTube, it's 60 Minutes did a special on it. He did that in 2004 during a routine training flight over the Pacific Ocean. Ryan Graves, he's a former Navy pilot, Report, he reported multiple UAP encounters during training flights. An interesting thing about, about Ryan was that he warned the Pentagon that these encounters are putting our pilots at risk. Okay. Well, first of all, let's break that down for a second. Well, yeah, technically anything in the sky puts anybody at risk who's flying, 
I mean, it 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 it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I am not here to uh, my feelings on David Crutch. Whatever, I'm not a believer in David Crutch. I respect him in the service. I was in the military. I respect him for the time he served in the military. I respect all people serving the military. But saying that doesn't mean that everything you say outside the military is real. It's true. I respect him for his military service. I respect my brother for his military service. I respect my father, my other brother. I respect all my family members in the military. I respect everybody in the military. But that doesn't automatically give you a free pass to say everything you say is truthful. So as of right now, I don't believe a single thing out of David Gretz. I don't. I don't. But if he's going to speak, then this is his opportunity to somehow make me believe his story. Make me believe that there's some truthful in it. Okay. Now he gets to go in front of a panel. Now I'm not, I don't know what he's allowed to bring with him. I don't know if he's allowed to bring his own files. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly what are the rules for a person to be a sp spokesperson at this conference. I don't know, but this is his opportunity to take all of us nayers into backing him up. So this is his chance. I just don't want to hear another story that there's no backup paperwork. I mean, I mean, I mean, real backup paperwork or, so, or video or something that will say, my God, he's right. I was wrong. I want to be wrong. Want to be wrong. Now, these pilots... In the famous Tic Tac video, oh, what's this? Uh, 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 propane tank uh, looks pretty amazing. Uh, me going to uh, before we could blink. It's, you know, I I, I hate it now because I'm on a um, I'm on a different browser. I had everything on my other browser. You know, don't you guys hate that? You know, you got issues, and now you got to figure out how to work around these issues. Like, okay, here we go. Let me let me let me bring this up for a second. All right, let me share this screen for a second. Let me get it off of this guy just for a second. Okay, he's challenging the limits of physics that raise potential security risks that were too big. Whoa, to hold on. My gosh. All right. Pentagon now reports about 400 UFO encounters. We want to know what's out there. Now, now when you read these reports, it, it, it's like they, they don't tell you the whole, whole, whole truth. They don't tell you like, like the whole truth because I myself was in the military I was on a um, a cutter ship, you know, and, and anybody's on ships or, you know, you're on a lookout. You're 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 going to look out for anything that's out of the ordinary. Now, each base could run things a little differently. The same kind of protocol, but different commanders run things differently, and we you know that. And my brother and I, we know we've talked to, you know, we still, we got friends, and we uh uh. Our nephew just got out of the military, so we know a lot of people that that are in the military. So there's there's a lot of uh, different procedures that different commanders like. There's thou let me just say this: there's thousands and thousands of UFO reports. Thousands. Think about that. Thousands and thousands and thousands, and that's not everything that's even accounted for because some station, you see something. You tell who's ever in charge to, when you fill out the paperwork, you know, and they'll let you know if you should fill it out or not. And a lot of times they'll tell you no. And they're basing it on how you tell them the story, what you saw. 
They're basing on should you report it or not. So not everything accurately gets reported. But they don't even tell you the full story that they can, they see thousands and thousands of things in the sky that could be a danger. A flock of seagulls is a danger in the sky. Birds, it, there's so many things that are danger in the sky. You know, they make it sound like like they make it sound like it's the norm. It's 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 there, you know, all these things flying in the sky is all you know, not, it's all it's got you know worse with these UFOs. It's always things being in the sky since the history we were flying in the sky. There's always been things up there. So what I'm saying is all these stories get so exaggerated. Like what's going on now, dude, dude, d d you know, we're not recognizing how many things you look up in the sky. You don't recognize. And these people are going so fast in flights. They see things when they see, when they see things flying by them, it's like for a second. And then they're making a judgment of what they saw of something they saw maybe less than five seconds. Not everything, not everyone, not, not, not everything. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is it's nothing new. What part of the sea in the sky? It's nothing. It's not as crazy when you, when you start reading reports, Pentagon now reports about 400. They're giving the low number because it's in the thousands. The uh, top Pentagon officials told a House panel on Tuesday that there were now close to 400 reports for military personnel possible encounters with UFOs. The 400 that they allowed to go through. They allowed to go through. There's more than 400. But if they say there's thousands, you know, people are not going to believe it. So, so. You gotta, you gotta see the lies, not lies, the exaggerations into these stories. Um, if I'm missing, guys, I, I apologize. I'm a one man show today, so I, I'm not, um, I'm not catching everything that people are saying in the chat. So I, I, I do apologize if you're saying something important. It's hard to catch everything in the chat and do this at the same time. So I do apologize. It's about a size of a city bus on a clear Sunday morning and let us get close enough before it shot north into the sky within seconds. One way to get neighbors to ignore you in yard play podcast of UFOs. <laughs> and everyone has their own twist ain't at a story and it goes from something simple to the most insane story ever. That's the truth. That's that's the truth. You know Ron, you're so right, right? You tell a story, right? What what you saw? Then you notice that oh, there's, there's people that that are interested in your story. Then you kind of add a little bit more. Oh God, yes, guys. You know, I you know I saw this thing. Right, first thing, first thing you know, the tell story. Yeah, I saw this object in the sky that I it, I didn't know what it was. And then some people come up to you. I heard you saw something. Yeah, it was strange. I, I felt something that was off. I the skies, the sounds went blank. Things start to expand <laughs> where they're adding their own. More people have eyes on you. You'll notice how the story changes. You know, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Let me see here. Let's let's, let's listen a little bit more to this. He attended the hearing held by the House Intelligence Committee last year, but was not allowed to speak. If you all remember, he wasn't even allowed admittance. He had to have someone gave him press credentials to get in, which I thought really stunk. Uh well, you know, I, I, I'm not defending that part, but there is a, a limited of people that are, are allowed to go into a conference, you know, all because you're – seem like you're part of something does not guarantee you to have a seat. I'm not saying that guy who didn't have a seat wouldn't be, wouldn't have important stuff to, to be able to tribute to the thing, but not everybody gets invited. Not everybody could go. They don't have a, they don't have a space for every single body, you know? And some of these people who like, 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 like people want to go in Let's just say, okay, I, I've seen this on Reddit. Why doesn't Bob Lazar get invited to this hearing? 
How come he's not speaking? It's because everything Bob Lazar has been saying is a lie. I mean, I mean, no offense. You're not going to put a liar that you know he's a known liar on the table. It's a waste of time. Listen, David Crouch is the new kid on the block. He's the flavor. You know, they'll, they'll put him on the table because he's new. They'll listen to him. And then if the truth comes out that, you know, they don't really believe him, he won't be allowed back. You know, it, it's, it's, it, it's crazy why everybody thinks certain people need to be there. You know, How, what the hell? Put put Jeremy Corbell on, on, the, on, the, on the desk table, right? Let, put him on there. Fuck it. Put this guy on there. Put, you know, so <laughs> I mean, this person should be there. This person should be there. Actually, be honest with you. Let's be honest here. In this conference, they don't need anybody to go there and speak to say what they saw or knew. They, the, the panel, the groups within the government already knows what's, what's going on, what's happened. If, they, if there's any truth to what David Grush has said, they already know. They already know. <laughs> it's not like they're learning anything new. Anybody's important with these UFOs already know these guys' stories. So the question is, is their story it's a little show and tell? You know? Robert was a better rep. Yeah, that's right. You know, but but only thing is, what what, what he needs to do, uh, uh, what he needs to do, uh, Fraser is is he needs to um, get on some kind of news channel, right? He needs to get on some kind of news channel, and somehow get his story to go broadcast from one part of the uh, United States to the other, and then he needs to get on sixty minutes, and then maybe rep uh, the representative bullshit would. Put him on the panel. So, so one of the one of the uh, uh, ways to get on, you gotta you gotta get your story out there, right? You gotta get enough people to believe in your story. Then they'll put you up there. So, hey, listen, if, if if you believe in Bob Lazar, that's fine. I, I don't. People have the right to believe. Listen, I know people who believe David Crush 100%. That's fine. Everybody everybody is allowed to to have their opinion on the certain people who they follow, want to follow for information. So, hey, Danny, I'm glad you, uh, you're you sticking up for Bob Lazar. You should. If you believe what he's saying, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. I just don't believe he is. You know, um... Another guy who, um, another guy who has become, let's just say, the flavor of the months. You know, he's going on everybody's channel, but mine is a uh, Avi Loeb. Avi mm -hmm. Loeb is like Avi Loeb is like the new porn guy for all the UFO channels communities. You know, everybody, everybody's in love with Avi Loeb. Everybody's in love with Avi Loeb. You know, he's from Harvard. He's a or whatever from Harvard. You know, if you're from Harvard, it must mean you don't you don't ex, you don't exaggerate the truth. If you're from Harvard. Harvard guarantees that that you that you are you are top notch, not. But it's kind of funny now. He's going on over to shows because the UFOs are such a hot topic. He's got a book out. Just saying, just saying. You know, and and. You know, all these shows, right? You know, and, and, and every show he goes on, everybody kisses his ass like there's no tomorrow. I'm serious. People, and listen, Evan Love's a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. He's the nicest guy in the world, but I'm not going to sit here and and automatically have to believe the guy because he's from Harvard, Eric. Get Eric, he's from Harvard. So what? So what? He's he, he's from Harvard. He's got, he found something that's aliens on another planet. Oh, no shit. There's aliens on other planets. It's, it's, if you believe that Earth is the only place that has has life on it, 
Tell me something I don't know. You know? Listen. I want every, <laughs> I want every you know, I, I want the truth to come out just as, like everybody else, but I don't know. Here, let's listen to more of this. Um, last year, the House Intelligence Committee held a hearing on UAPs. They brought in some Pentagon bureaucrats who, had, who only had two answers to the questions they were asked. I don't know, or that's classified. This hearing is going to be different. We're going to have witnesses who can speak frankly to public about their experiences. We've had a heck of a lot of pushback about this hearing. We've had members of Congress who fought us. We've had members of the intelligence community and also the Pentagon. Even NASA backed out on us. There are a lot of people who don't want this to come to light. I've even tried to introduce an amendment to the Federal Aviation Administration reauthorization bill. And all that would do would require the Federal Aviation Administration to report UAP sightings by commercial pilots to Congress. The intelligence, I was told the, uh, the intelligence community shut it down. This is ridiculous, folks. You know, you know how many things get shut down that you're, uh, 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 any senators, any anybody who, who's trying to get something off the ground? You know how many things get shut down by these representatives? Things get shut down every single day. Every single single day things get shut down these rips they don't get everything that they want it sounds good it sounds important the government won't even listen they don't shut down you know because first of all everybody has a budget in the first place where is this money coming from so saying that you know it's ridiculous things get shut down they get things shut down every day if you allow, if you allow every single representative get something pushed through that they want, we would be a bankrupt country. Uh, hey Eric, I found the original video of white object that fell from the sky. Can I send some stuff to you guys? Sure, send it. Paranormal Highway thirteen at gmail dot com. Yeah, send me it. I love to see it. I would love to see it. Oh shit. Training flight over the Pacific Ocean. Counters are putting our pilots at risk. There are a lot of people who don't want this to come to light. I've even tried to. Hold on a second. We're going to have witnesses who can speak frankly to public about their experiences. We've had a heck of a lot of pushback about this hearing. We've had members of Congress who fought us. We've had members of the intelligence community and also the Pentagon. Even NASA backed out on us. Is that, is that anything new? Getting pushed back, it, it sure sounds good, right? People, it sure sounds good getting pushed back. <laughs> what, what, what was it? A janitor who pushed back and said, No, we're not gonna help you. One person says, We're not gonna help you. I mean, did you ask everybody in the department, or you know, or you know, maybe they don't have time to go there on the 26th, but it sure sounds good. I'm getting pushed back, and why, why they do that is you see people. We, I'm sorry that you know when you talk about this kind of stuff, you got to bring in a little politics. I mean, it it is it's a politic type of type of uh, uh, theory. Uh, it's, it's it's how um, um, this stuff kind of kind of works. So so the, so they say is they're getting pushback. My, when they're saying that, they're hoping that you who are watching it are like, see, you know that is real. He's being pushed back. Why would they push back? There'd be a lot of reasons why they push back. They don't have time to go. They don't believe the people that he's bringing. It, it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily, not everybody could go to these, these, these events and push back. And, and maybe, maybe they already know David's crush's story behind the scenes. They don't need to hear it again. You know, and, and then, you know, NASA, NASA just had their what UFO, you know, conference, whatever, a month ago or whatever. They're probably like, why do I want to go back? Why do I want to sit there and listen to these so-called pilots again? That they already, they already have all the information in front of them. Cause all this, all this might be just a pony show. Just a pony, pony, pony show. Let me see what he wrote. Don't get me wrong. Love Tim. Burchett, but wish he didn't do those two controversial things what he, he did and said 
You all in the UFO world community know he's uh, contradictions, but still love his UFO passion. Now, I am not questioning if he's, um, listen, guys. If he's a true lover of the UFO, that's great. That's fantastic. I, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not challenged that he doesn't uh, uh, care about UFOs. Tom DeLong has a love for UFOs. There's a lot of people who have the love for UFOs. You heard Ronald Reagan's little thing. He believes there's UFOs, aliens, and stuff. He believes in that. So I am not questioning his his passion. But again. He's listen. He's building this thing up for the twenty six. He's building it up. He's got these people. They're gonna speak. You saw the pushback. So he's building this conference up. Now, to me, if you're gonna build something up. Then you're gonna have to deliver. You're gonna have to deliver. How many times uh, in life yet? I don't know. You went to a movie, right? You went to a movie. They built it up. They built this movie up. You you got this expectation that oh my god, this movie's gonna be fantastic. It's terrific. It was built up by whoever's built up by uh, movie critics or whatever. It's built up. So you're so excited. You get to go. You go. And whew, it was the worst fucking crap you saw, right? Right? I mean, I remember, uh, was it two years ago? Halloween ends, right? Halloween ends. They built it up. This is the end of Michael Myers, right? They built, they built up Halloween ends. They built it up. I was excited. I didn't like the middle one before it. I'm like, oh my God, this one's got to be better than this. It's going to be good. They built it up. And I go there and I was like, what the fuck was this trash? And it just crushed you, kill you. So when you when he's building this up, he needs to deliver. <laughs> Art Bell should come down from the mothership and testify. I know, right? I know. Because he's building us up. And if he builds us up for everybody to hear the exact same things over and over, or, 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 or you're building up where this David Crutch is just saying the exact same story he did on the news channel, and there is nothing new for it, that, but it's different, but it's different. He's saying it from the panel. Well, if these people on the panel are truly UFO panel, they already heard what he said. So building it up is nicely, but you're going to hurt the community. Because listen, I've I've I'm I've I'm involved in a lot of communities. And, and let me tell you, the UFO community is one of the most weirdest, weirdest communities. I'm talking about people that are just into the UFO community. They're not into any other community. You know, everybody, because I, I watch these channels and their heart and soul are with these people. I know people who believe every word that bullshit says. Uh, um, Representative Bullshit, uh, David Grudge, and all that. And, you know, they're in love. I mean, they're in love. You know, this, this conference is like their porn movie. I hate to say it, but it's their porn movie. You know? And then there's there's people in the community who um, uh, want to say that nobody else's videos are real, it's just theirs. So it's the weirdest, weirdest videos. And I love the passion. I love the passion. But but I don't know, man. If this they don't deliver in the 26th, the way they're building it up, you know, they're gonna they're gonna make it worse in the long run. There are many stops and exits on the paranormal highway. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of people who don't want this to come to light. I've even tried to introduce an amendment to the Federal Aviation Administration reauthorization bill, and all that would do would require the Federal Aviation Administration to report UAP sightings by commercial pilots to Congress. The intelligence, I was told the, uh, the intelligence community shut it down. This is ridiculous. It's because they already get the reports. <laughs> they already get the reports. 
The government knows every report there is. That's from pilots. They don't need another. <laughs> they don't need another system. So there's even more people to uh, 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 come out and you know what I mean. I mean, so, <laughs> so you know, this worries me. What am I going to see on the 26th? What am I going to see? Ridiculous, folks. They either they do exist or they don't exist. They keep telling us they don't exist, but they block every opportunity for us to get a hold of the information to prove that they do exist. And we're going to get to the bottom of it, dadgummit, whatever the truth may be. See? He's building it up. We're going to get to the truth of it. So what's going to happen when we don't get to the truth of it on the 26th? What's going to happen? They're probably going to come out and say, you know, we took one step forward. We're, we're breaking it down. We're on a good start. You know, he'll probably brush it off. And listen, hey, again, people, again, I hope they open everything up. I do. I truly do. I want them to surprise me. Surprise you guys. Surprise us all. We all want that. Am I going to see it? I don't know. Yeah, it's an overview because the 26 is not here yet. So this is just an overview. This is this is this today's show is about what is our expectations for the 26. You know, what is our expectation? This is not the conference itself. Uh, Cosmic Neighbors, Ron's channel, is going to be showing the um, conference through his channel. So Cosmic, so go, go to Cosmic Neighbors, type it in, and, you know, he's, he's going to be showing it. So I'll, I'll be watching it through his channel. So this is what this is what I want to – okay, everybody in the chat. You awesome, beautiful, beautiful people in the chat. What is the lowest thing you'd be happy with for them to to, uh, to see? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. What am I? I'm so excited about the 26th hearing. I hope you guys are too. This will be my mental. Have a great day listening why I work. Yeah. Yeah. Cosmic Neighbors. Um, he's going to be showing it. Now, what do you guys want to see? What are you hoping? Um, are you hoping to see more files? I mean, what 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 is what is your expectation, or do you want them to say aliens from another planet is real? We know there's there's there, we know there's spy planes and all that no uh, coming around the world. We know that, but what do you guys want to see? That's what I want to know from the chat. What do you hope to see? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Let me know. Um, hold on a second. Now, here's a. I was looking at this article. I'm sorry, guys. I have to transfer everything over to to the edge again. So let me show you. Let me see here. Now, this one. All right. Here's an article. UFO reports in U.S. rise to five ten. Okay. Honestly, so what? I mean, I mean, really, seriously, so what? I mean, I, I hate to say this, with the technology of drones that they have now, people making different shapes now with drones, doing weird things with drones, UFOs are going to go up. I'm not saying every UFO is fake because of a drone. But when you have more technology that can make things fly easier, just with somebody standing in a park in your backyard, UFOs are going to be on a rise. Remember, remember, a UFO is just an unidentified flying object. That's all it is. So to go on a stretch to say reports are on a rise, that's not a stretch. I just want the Roswell truth. I can see that, Danny. That's fair. That's that's fair. And that's and that's what you're looking for? Yeah. And then and then, then I guess the next question would be would be 
Yeah, it's hard to think. You know, the next question would be if if they did come out with some kind of a the true classifies and all that. You know, what would it what would be satisfied to the person listening to it? Is it to to say, you know, it was a real you? It was a, a um from another planet. I mean, I think that would be the most dramatic dramatic breakthrough ever. Saying we did confirm that this ship is not from Earth. And just come out and wrong. That that is awesome. That's you know, hey, that's I can't add to that. I mean, that's that's perfect. I am uh, I am too jaded with all the BS we have so far to expect anything different, and that's the problem. That's the problem. With slow motion. Everything they have, they have done for or not done for us that we haven't been learning anything new, and that's the problem. Our expectations are just down here. And now you got this representative bullshit from Tennessee building us up, right? So we're down here. He's building it up. He's building you up. Is it going to be a big... And if it, if it doesn't... They don't show us anything. It's going to be a bigger crash than ever. It's going to backfire on what he's trying to do. So what I'm saying is if the representative is real and he wants to blow the covers off, he's going to need to. He's going to need to. I mean, just because you have David, some pilots coming, if you got these people coming, then you got it. You better hope they have some kind of a smoking gun with them that's going to make this all worthwhile. This is going to blow this out of the water. You're going to have to, you're going to have to, you just can't bring them to tell the exact same story that they've already told. I don't want to see another conference with stories. We have already heard. You need to back up that conference. You need to, you need to back that up. All because you bring certain names doesn't mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. I am hoping Congress focus the the black uh, black ops government to come clean with everything. I don't expect them to reveal much with the hearing. I do, however, expect them to be first step to close down. Okay, I see that. I'm with you, Danny. If they lie lie about the little things, they're gonna lie about. Big guns. Yep. I agree. Let's go. The Roswell Truth sounds like a good book title. <laughs> the Roswell Truth. I know, right? Right? It is. 70 years is long enough to keep a secret. And the thing is, listen, in, 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 in the whole cover-up, think about this. The whole cover-up of the whole Roswell it was all paid for by us, taxpayers. The taxpayers paid for the whole cover-up. Everything they had to do to cover up, to shut people up, all came from our pockets. It did. Everything. All of it. Everything the government does comes from our pockets. That's why everybody's so passionate, because it comes from us. Cover-ups, money, everything is from us. Wow, two perfect TV series. All they will be doing is telling us what we already know. And that's what I mean. You go, If you're going to build us up, if you're going to build us up and just tell us already do, all you're, you're making it worse for yourself. You're making it way worse. Because it's one thing that NASA had a conference and they're having a conference because they made it sound like it's part of the New Deal, right? They're going to have a conference. But representative bullshit He's really come out with words. We're going to do this and this and this. So he's making this conference something more. And if you're going to do that, back it up. Back it up. Okay, let me see here. It's called UFO fatigue. It is. You're 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 absolutely right. It is fatigue. If you do the same thing over and over again, it's fatigue, it's fatigue, it's fatigue, it's fatigue. It is fatigue. 
And you know what, guys? No matter what, we, we, we all know this. After after the conference, go to the so-called major UFO channels. Right? They're going to have a porn day with this stuff. Good or bad, they're going to make something out of it. And, of course, anybody, anybody, any of these uh, UFO channels are, are uh, connected with... Um, um, uh fuck, Jeremy Gorbel and any of those any of those people. You know they're all gonna say the same thing. This is a great step forward for everybody. This is great. They're talking about it. You know what I mean? Because I saw I I, I I I didn't download the clip, but I saw Jeremy Corbell again on another news channel talking about. You know this is so fantastic. We're all keep talking. Listen. There's a good song by Cinderella on the uh, Still Climbing album called Top is, Talk is Cheap. All right? That's where I'm at. Talk is cheap. Talk is fucking cheap. I am done with all the talking. I am done hearing people's stories. I'm too fucking old for stories. I'm not here... For stories. I just want facts. I want facts. I want facts. I want I want, I want things to back up those facts. That's what I want now. I don't want more stories. I don't need it. I want to see the White House president, Secret Service, extraterrestrial alien guard that's moving uh, extremely weird in the past. Presidential speeches to show up and say, take me to your... Uh, <laughs> I like that. Admit Roswell was a government cover-up. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. We heard enough talking as it is. Make it worth our wild. Craig Danny, likely even less. Too many phone cameras to hide it from everyone. Social media and channels like this. Thank you, experience happens many. We don't have to hide and feel like the weird anymore. You know what? One of the things, show the cameras, phone cameras. That, that's that, that's a good one. That's a good one. There are a lot of footages that, that has come from people. That I, there is there there is a lot of stuff that has come from people that that aren't, uh, uh, you know, we can't explain. Or, uh, I'm talking about unfiltered, no no tweaking of, uh, of the camera, no CGI on it. There are a lot of raw footages of things we don't understand. And I, you know that the government don't understand. One of the things I, I kind of hope that they expand their uh, uh, research into the private sector of footages. Because listen, government's got a lot better equipment than we do. I'm sure they can uh, take some of these footages from the private sector and dissect it way better than we could ever do because, you know, it's, they got the equipment. They got, they got, they got the stuff. You know, and, and, and I think they really need to get the private sector footages in there and work closely with some private sector uh, organizations to, you know, things are contracted out, you know, expanded, not, not just expanding it to military pilots, because that's just a small percentage of pilots. There's airports all around the world, people are flying and stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of cameras now and everything. There's, 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 there's so much footage is out there. You know, we need to start looking into some of the private sector stuff. I guarantee this only takes one. It only takes one. One footage to make the whole thing real from another planet. It only takes one. You only need one. But, but we need the private sector more involved. Let me see here. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Um, I have been missing a lot of people's uh, of chats. 
Some things are not meant for us to know, understandable, but I feel it's time to take another direction when it comes to this. Listen, everything does depend on what they find. You know this and I know this. And I, I get it. I get it. If they found something that can be considered a major weapon of mass destruction or something, you know, whatever... I get that 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 stuff can't be told. I get that. I get that. If there's this certain kind of uh, technology that can change the tides of countries taking over other countries and that kind of stuff, I get that. I get hiding all that. Because we all know every country, even including ourselves, we're not like the nicest people in the world. I got it. Go, go watch the movie Oppenheimer. Who did the thing first of all countries? We did. I mean, I don't I can say anything more. So I get, but not everything that they have found through the last hundreds of years is all mass destruction type of technology. There are stuff they can tell us. I get they can't tell us things that can harm people. I get that. And that's the problem. They could consider everything like that, right? Eric, you don't know what you got until it's gone. <laughs> oh, text front porch. What a great channel that is. Talk is cheap because of free speech. Yep. Uh, yep. It's all stores. Never any evidence. They ain't going to admit much. Might be a mass hysteria or something like that, and that's sad too. We, 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 you know, we do have people that that have some issues, and they will go freaking nuts and crazy. Like, you know, there, there are there, there are people out there, there, and there's people out there that just waiting. They're just waiting. They're just waiting. They're just waiting for something to make an excuse. To give up on society. I hate to tell you that. There's people waiting. And if people get any. Knowledge of. They think aliens are coming. The end of the world. When you know they're not. They're going to use it. Because everybody's waiting for that one excuse. They can say I give up society. I'm not going to work no more. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. Every Everybody's looking for that angle. You know and there are those people. There are those people that's ready to pull up the signs. E.T., come take me home. There are. They're there. They're there. Now, I don't think they're the, the majority. You know, and you should not give out information just because of that. There, there, there's bad people and everything. There's bad people everywhere. There's, there's crazy people. God, how many jobs you guys have been? There's always a nut person there. And when, you, when somebody says something or they take it too hard for, you know what I mean? You know, it's especially nowadays, right? We live in a days where, God, you can't even say anything negative to a person without bringing him a blanket to cover him up because you hurt everybody's goddamn feelings. Everybody has brain issues now. I mean, there's a name for every goddamn thing. You can't say this. You can't say that. You can't hurt this. You can't hurt that. It's not this word anymore. It's that word. It's this word. That word. That word. No, fuck, 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 fuck. It's like, it's like, it's like, my God, my God, what, what, what can I freaking say anymore <laughs> without hurting somebody's feelings? Like, here's the, here's a blanket, here's a squeeze ball. I mean, what the hell? You know, it's just, oh man. Let me see. I'm sorry. I'm missing a lot of uh, people's chat. Uh, Texas front porch. Good guy. Good guy. Hey, text from Porch, man. If you're available Friday, 9 a.m., I haven't put up a link up, but but I want, I'm putting up a Bigfoot show for Friday. I usually do the Bigfoot show on Tuesday, but tomorrow I got uh, Jim and Jade, and we're going to be talking about the. Uh, we're going to be uh, tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be talking about psychic abilities, um, media. You know, can you actually change the outcome? If you know, if you feel, you know, and how do you know you got some gifts? How do you know somebody else has gifts? 
or is it, is it all a scam? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to break it down tomorrow. And then Thursday, um, Thursday on the channel, uh, Exploring Harley's coming on, and we're going to break down on exactly what he bring he brings with him on a real paranormal investigation. Not the kind you've seen on TV, where TVs have every equipment in the world because they got companies backing it up. They got all this. In the real world, real investigations, nobody has, maybe some people have, like all the equipment you might see on Ghost Adventures, Ghost Hunters, and all that, because they got the company backings with equipment. So uh, Harley's going to uh, go through with us, like, what is his first step on choosing an investigation? What do you look for? What kind of place? What kind of story? So we're really going to truly break down on Thursday. What do you need to do with or bring with you on a paranormal investigation? And then of course, tomorrow we're going to break down. What do you do being a medium? What are, what are some of the gifts? Do p different mediums have gifts? So we're going to break down everything there is about a psychic reading, uh, crystal ball. Is that seeming a thing? Crystal powers. We're going to be breaking it all down tomorrow. And then of course, Friday, I want to do a Bigfoot show and, and, and maybe text is available. We can break down on some of the stuff that he takes with him on a Bigfoot investigation. You know, it's kind of fun breaking down what people do and how they investigate, what kind of equipment they have. I think it's kind of fun. Eric, no while with uh, Woo Friday. That, that hurts. No. Even though Friday is a Bigfoot show, he can come out on Friday. I, I, I want to bring him back on Fridays. I want to bring it back on Fridays. It, listen, Dr. Wu himself was part of that group that had the Bigfoot encounter. So I'm not saying he can't be on there. Yeah, he he's he's open to be on there. He we had an encounter. He could go over his encounter too. I do appreciate the thoughts. And that's the thing, Wild. Everybody has different thoughts, different expectations, and there's no one right or one wrong for anybody. There, there truly isn't. Listen, you guys seen it today's show. I'm not a Bob Lazar fan. Danny leaves more into Bob Lazar than I do. I'm not right. He's not right. I'm not wrong. He's not wrong. You pick the information that you think is good for you, and you run with it. You don't need to follow the crowd. And that's the thing that I see a lot with the UFO community, that they will run whatever the popularity. Like right now, Avi Loeb is very popular, very popular because he's Harvard. So we're, so we're putting him on a higher pedestal because he's Harvard. He's a scientist. And he, you know, he's smarter than every one of us. And, of course, he's trying to sell a book. And, you know, he's wrote a book. He's selling a book. And, uh, and uh, you know, and, and UFOs are hot right now. Sounds like a little car salesman to me. But it doesn't mean he's not it. If you're into him, that's great. That's what's beautiful about our community here. You got every right to believe any person you want. And you have your own reasons why. And there's nothing wrong with that, people. Nothing at all. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I know sometimes. I know there, 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 there are channels that people will put like a gatekeeper status that what he says is go. And I, I seen these channels, you know, I don't believe it. Oh, you're crazy. I'm not going to call Danny crazy for believing in Bob Lazar. He's got his reasons. Who am I? Listen, at the end of the day, we all don't know. None of us knows. I'm not, I haven't been with Bob Lazar on his adventures, hands on. Everything I know about the guy, I heard it from the news and stories like you guys do. I truly don't know. Shit, David Grush could be telling 100% truth what he's heard from other people. I don't know. I'm not with them. I'm just taking the information that what I'm gathering, what I feel. That's it. I am not a believer in Avi Loeb. I don't give a shit. He's from Harvard. I am not a believer in 
in a uh, um, Lazar. I'm not David Grush. I'm not a believer, but you know what? They could prove me wrong, and I want them to prove me wrong, dude. I'm one of those people. Is is if you prove me wrong, I will be angry. I will love it. I would love to be wrong. Just like the famous saying of John Wick when he's in that church. When that other guy goes, John, I didn't know you believe in God. John Wick goes, I don't. Then why, then why are you here? What if I'm wrong? That is beautiful. What if I'm wrong? And by God, I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. I want to be so freaking wrong. It hurts. It hurts. You know what? I, I, I know we're above an hour, but what the fuck? I don't care. I'm going to play a little bit more of this. Done with the cover up. I want to introduce my friend Jared Moskovitz. He's a legal, he has a legal and an incredible analytical mind, and he's a friend of mine. Jared? Okay. Uh, thanks, Tim. Um, uh, good morning, uh, and I want to thank my colleagues uh, behind me that we're all leading this effort on a, on a bipartisan basis. A bipartisan basis, and and ultimately, you know, it really is about getting to just gov greater government transparency. As, as Tim said, that you know, when we ask these questions, if the answers are there are no unidentified aerial phenomenon, then say that. But that's not what the answers are. The answers are we can't tell you, and so that leads to speculation. And so this this is something that has undoubtedly captured the public's attention uh, in multiple uh, administrations. <laughs> I like that, huh? We can't tell you. Well, then, if they can't tell you, there's and then maybe there's got to be a reason why they can't tell you. If, if that's it is, if, if that's what it is. Here, um, let me go. Uh, let me take this one off. I, I put that video in three parts. Let me go into the third one, because I think I think the third one gets a little bit more juicier. Let me see here. Let me go to my. Let's see. I, I think the overarching question that we're really asking is why are they overclassifying this and why aren't they being transparent? You know, and, and it's about asserting, reasserting, I should say, Congress's role in all of this. I mean, to to Tim's point. I mean, the United States Congress passed a law on the JFK assassination. That information under that law is now supposed to be available. And yet president after president violates of both, both, both parties, parties, right? Violates that law and extends the information to his point. Why? And that's, you know, <laughs> I, I will give him that. I will give him that. And that's what, and that's my point about, when you keep anytime you hear they're passing something, all because they're passing something doesn't mean the one thing you want to hear that, that that is going to be loud, like the JFK one. They pass a law where that could be out, but it's not out. It gets held up. They'll call it something different. They'll classify it on something different. So it's 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 all a game. I mean, I mean, I mean, it sounds great. It sounds it sounds awesome, you know, to the public, right? It sounds awesome. We got this law. We're gonna be able to hear this, and then you don't. But like I said, I guarantee they already have a stack that they can't unclassify it, and as soon as and they'll give some of those out. That, that but there's really nothing in there. There's there really no there is nothing juicy. It's not like in this stack they're ready to unclassify it. Is the the Roswell truth? Right, the Roswell truth is not in this pile. The Roswell truth is in this other pile, and if somehow this law passes where this can be shown, they'll just rename it something else. They'll say there's a danger to public. We can't say it. We can't show it. So, so, you know, <laughs> he's he's not right. He's not wrong there. He's not wrong there that they're hiding uh, some stuff that they're not going to say. And also, again. Military industrial complex will hide alien tech at all costs. Yes. And also remember, the military Pentagon is run by the Secretary of State, who's a civilian who is not in the military. So so I just want to bring that out there. Just want to bring that out there that 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 
the White House runs the military. Secretary of State and the President runs. Really what's happening here. We, we're interested in the why. Why are they doing this? Why won't they tell the American people, yes, it's a national security issue. Of course it is, right? We, can't we tell the American people that it isn't China, it isn't Russia, right? And, it, and if it is, right, then that's even more questionable. Why aren't they telling the American people that other countries have this technology, right? And, and to your point? Well, probably because, probably because we're doing the same thing to those countries too. We got spy stuff in their countries. Because, so basically, if we tell on them, they're going to tell on us. So let's not all pretend, let's not all pretend that, that America is squeakly clean. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's weird how every, every other country does everything wrong except America. Because <laughs> we're America. We don't do anything wrong. You know, they fuck with us. We'll put a boot in their ass. I mean, that's that's that that's 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 our attitude. So, how how many spy planes they have over here is how many spy planes we have over there. And guys, our country, China, we got the best. We got the best satellites in the world that can zoom down. We don't even need spy planes. My God, they got a satellite. They can beam down on a fucking on a fucking bug in the middle of Iraq in the desert. They could pin down on a bug. So, you know, but but if we tell their secrets of what they're doing, they're gonna tell our secrets. And of course, it's a political nightmare. And of course, we're going, you know, you know, you guys know 2000, uh, 2024 is awesome. Uh, guys, it's a it's a political running year for a lot of these people in office. A lot of these people got to get their names back in the press. Got to get that, get that name. Got, you know, because they're going to be running again. You know, because I, tr in a political world, I truly believe that that Republicans and Democrats are just, they're all, I have to, I have to believe they're both tired of the type of people they have been running this country for the last six, eight years in, 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 in Tim's, you know, and, and I think a lot of people are just not going to vote next year. They just, you know, they're just done. They're tired. And maybe this whole, I don't know, maybe that guy thinks that, well, if I'm going to lose some of these percentage votes, maybe I could get the UFO community to back me up because they see that how I'm fighting for them. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But during election years, Somehow they get their names in the paper, and maybe that, maybe that representative from Tennessee, uh, representative bullshit. Maybe he thinks that's his key to um, get back into, it, you know, get revoted. Let's hear more. Let I, I want to re-engineer, re reverse your question, which is, it, are we okay with the federal government keeping information from the American people because they're trying to prevent? us from having anxiety on all sorts of issues? I mean, if they can do it here, what else are, they, what else are we going to give them authority to not tell the American people because they're interested in, in, in controlling and keeping us in a bubble? I mean, that's a, that's a scary thought that they don't trust us, that the universe is a big place. I mean, everyone learns about that in school, right? The universe is a big place. Our solar system is a big place. We're learning about solar systems far beyond. You know, first of all, this guy... This guy is talking about, he makes it sound like it's just started to happen. That, you know, why they don't tell us. I mean, this stuff's been going on for hundreds of years. They hide stuff. What's new? There's, I mean, everything he's saying, I'm not saying he's wrong, but we all heard this before. It's every, every freaking year. I've said this before. Every time a Democrat becomes president or governor or whatever, they all say, you know, we're going to raise taxes on the rich. Then do it. Just fucking do it. Raise it. I, You know, you get to a point where you get tired of hearing the same stuff over and over and over again. So what I'm trying to say is this guy is not saying anything new. We already know this. 
Oh, they're talking about my movie. Era, you're referring to the movie The Core. In the movie, they had an element 115 called um, Bonneville. I can't spell it right. Uh, but in the movie, they took the idea from Lazar. Just wondering. Yeah. Actually, I like the movie The Core. That's kind of a guilty pleasure for me. That's a guilty pleasure movie. I really enjoy them going in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the earth and they gotta drop bomb, boom, 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 boom. And they don't tell the they don't want to tell the world on that that the military created it, which technically wasn't the military created, it was the government who approved them to create the sound waves they want to use to at to do earthquakes from another, which I could see them trying doing that, try to cause earthquakes in other countries with weapon, but instead they stop the heart of the of the, of the earth to spin in a circle. So I actually like that movie. <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure. It's, I still like watching it. It's a guilty pleasure. I admit. I'm admit. I admit. And so the idea that human, the human brain can't tolerate that there might be life somewhere else. The human brain can't tolerate. That. You know, first of all, first of all. You, it, 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 and I can't tell you if that's what government people are thinking that they think that the average American person can't tolerate because first of all again I said this all the time before all because you're electing to office you're not privileged to every every classified information there is all because you're a new kid on the block you're not given every information there is so there's a lot of stuff that these new people don't even know because that rep hasn't even been a rep for 20, 30 years, you know, but if the idea, cause we can't comprehend, listen, I can't comprehend the amount of tax money that I'm paying now. I'm still trying to comprehend that, that, that the state, the County, the government, I'll say, you know, inflation, you know, if, you know, prices are on the rise, and, and gas on the rise, and they all know this. And I can't comprehend that this, they still raise taxes on you. I try to, I try to comp comprehend that. Like, like you know that all the food prices are gone up and gas has gone up, but you're still going to raise taxes on us. <coughs> you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? I try to comprehend that. Telling me that, that, that if, if you listen. I said, it's, you know, Bigfoot is real. I know that. But it's 50-50, right? He's either real or he's not, right? Paranormal is different. Ghosts, spirits, energy. That's a whole different kind of a level. But aliens, I treat almost like Bigfoot. It's either real or it's not. And for me, I cannot believe we're the only life form. Out of all the galaxy that we are the only life form. I believe there is other life form. And I believe they have visited us. If, is that Roswell? I would love to know. Is it the Mary Island incident? I would love to know. Remember, the Mary Island incident happened before Roswell. You know, a lot of people call the Mary Island incident a copycat of Roswell. No. Technically, if you call something a copycat, Roswell is a copycat of the Mary Island incident. But, but, but regardless of, 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 of that, Will it be a shock to the people? Would it be a shock to us if they came out and, and admit that aliens are real? That, of course, I, I fucking have a heart attack on the ground. Like, oh my God, they're fucking admitting something that we already know. Of course, everybody's going to have that shock factor. Everybody's going to have it. But... With time, the shock factor goes away. You know, the reality will hit in for a lot of people. Like, oh, wow, we are not alone. And, you know, to me, I hate to say this. I hate to say it. You know, anytime there's a uh, a tragedy that has happened into the, you know, the world, I hate to say it. I, I was I was bringing me up. Sorry. When there's a big tragedy, it's like it's like the thing that brings everybody together. You know, people people come together with the worst of times. 
And I believe that if they come out and say, we do have proof they're real, we have it real, yes, it, it will be a shock factor to a lot of people. But look at all the people that go, that are going to join together because of it. That's going to be like, like, think about this. No, I've heard, you know, you know, NASA wants more funds. Everything wants more funds. People, uh, 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 SpaceX wants funds. The, the Amazon Blue, whatever, Origin, they all want more funds. You know, they, everybody wants more funds to get into space. Money, 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 money. You come out and you tell the world that, that aliens are real? These, these companies that want to go out there, they're going to be flooded with money because people will back up stuff that is real. You know, it, I have never given NASA a dollar. I would never will. But if they came out, if NASA came out and said aliens are real, we know what part of the planet we want to build a technology to get there, I will donate for that. The, the donations will be out of this world. Would be out of this world. But the problem is nobody trusts nobody. And it's kind of funny. The government don't trust the people who put them in government positions. It's kind of funny how that works. We put them there and they don't trust you. And we put them there. We don't trust them. They don't trust you. We don't trust them. How does that work? But I guarantee after the shock factor, people will join and they will get the money they need to go to these places. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. People got to start believing people again. Got to start believing. People don't, people don't believe anything anymore. Look, this conference coming up. Nobody believes we're going to learn anything. People do want to believe. People do want to believe. I believe that. I just don't accept that. And at the end of the day, I think the hearing is really about real life accounts from reliable people. And as the technology is getting better, our technology is getting better, we're now capturing these things on our handheld devices. And why is the military and the government not just being honest with us? Why are they overclassifying it? Why aren't they being transparent? Yes, sir. Why are they not being honest with us? Because the government, because the military is run by you guys. It's run by the Secretary of State. They can only tell us what they're allowed to tell us. I always, I, 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 it, I pull out my freaking hair every time they say the military is not showing us. The military doesn't make those decisions. The Secretary of State and the President makes those decisions on what the government could show. It's, 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 they can only show what they're allowed to. So your biggest problem, if you're blaming on the Pentagon military, is your secretary of state and the president of the United States of America. And freak, uh, uh, hell, our president is still asleep right now. Shit, somebody needs to go find that cocaine that they dropped on the ground to wake him up. Say, hey, hey, you know, and shoot, we all seen the video of when they asked them. They, they asked him about, about UFOs uh, and Barack Obama, and he goes, go ask him. And trust me, he knows something. He knows more than a lot of people because he's been in office forever. What are you going to do, right? Uh, two, if, if you'll indulge me. Uh, we, we've all heard about how there are uh, whistleblowers that have tried to come forward, many of them, according to you all, have said that they have gotten backlash, that they fear coming forward. Some have even gone as far as to say that they fear for their lives in sharing these, these types of things. I'm wondering if you can just elaborate on some of what you're hearing as to like, the roadblocks they are facing. Sure. I mean, we've, we've had witnesses that. Uh, I do want to say, if you guys don't know uh, the cryptid huntress, Jessica Jones, she's fantastic. She's um, She's awesome. And if you guys never been to her channel, you know, she was on my show last week. And one of the best things that that one of the main reasons why I would say you guys should check out her channel is because she's like us. She's open minded. 
she's willing to listen to hear and, you know, she'll have her own thoughts on it. That's her thoughts. That's rare nowadays, you know, that people are open-minded to, and, 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 and not just cryptids. Uh, she's open-minded to UFOs, paranormal. I mean, you name it, anything that's considered the unknown. She's really open-minded. It's rare to have channels like that. So if you guys haven't checked her out, check her out. Texas Front Porsche that was in here earlier. Uh, you know, they had me on their channel, but they also talk about everything. And they're also don't jump on bandwagons just because everybody is out into they They have their opinions just like everybody else. You know, you know, there's a lot of there. There are a lot of great channels out there. There's there's a lot of decent channels, and and like I said, you, anybody has the right to choose any channels they want. You know, and you don't have to go to channels because I'm just telling you. But but the people who I say that I respect are channels that are open minded to not just one direct community. You know, they're open minded to you. If you know what I mean, you guys know what I mean. There's some people that that are in the UFO community that want anything to do with the paranormal. Or or the Bigfoot, vice versa, you know. Yeah, you can have your main one channel, like like Paranormal Highway. So you automatically paranormal, even though paranormal means everything, pe people always think ghost, right? But I like this is UFO Mondays and all that. So, and uh, thank you, Danny, uh, very much for uh, putting. This channel on and uh, go check out Wild Ascension. Um, you know, one thing about Danny is is Danny likes the uh, like the same channels that I do, and he does a good job putting the uh, links in there to check out. Check them out. Check them out. I'm not telling you you have to subscribe to them. Check out these channels. You like it, you subscribe. If you don't, hey, you know, this check check these channels out. That's all I ask. Check them out. Just don't check out this one channel right here called the Daily Dan Blog. Man, the, the guy who does the Daily Dan Blog, you got to watch out for that guy. You got to watch out for him. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> Danny, you're awesome. That have backed out on us and have told us that they received inquiries, I guess you could say, from the Pentagon. And so, obviously, we're over the target. And, and they know it. And that's why they're firing at us. And if, if there isn't anything... Then why the why the push to cover it up? Why do, why don't we know? All we want is transparency. Tell us what it is. And my second question is just at the hearing next week, uh, should we expect to be seeing new visuals in terms of video or pictures? Good uh, question. Like physical, Good question. You know, craft that maybe we have not yet seen. Possibly, but I think what you're going to see is real questions. When the intelligence committee held that bogus commit that bogus meeting in the public. I mean, literally, the people that they brought from the Pentagon couldn't spell UFO. That was the most ridiculous thing. I don't know if any of y'all saw that or not. They had one video where the guy filmed it out of his canopy with a cell phone, the most technologically advanced country in the world. And then Adam Schiff, who I don't always agree with, but dadgum, he asked the question, and I loved it. He said, what exactly am I looking at? And they couldn't tell him, were they looking at the the reflection off the canopy, or are they looking at some object that was flying by? It's a 22-second film. You know, the most technologically advanced country in the world, dadgummit, Isabel Burchett, my little 16-year-old girl, could have stopped that video. They couldn't even stop the video to show us what it was. And all the footage that we've seen, all the testimony, we had a pilot there who's going to be here who was denied access. And that's a question the press ought to ask. Why is the intelligence community blocking everything we do, both parties, doesn't matter who's in the White House. The American public deserves to know. Let's get to the bottom of it. Okay. We'll, we'll stop there. So there might be some possible new footage, which that's, I would have thought he already knew that there were. So that's telling me that, that he's not in full control of this conference or otherwise he would just say yes. Um, you know, now he's got a person, a pilot that wasn't allowed to go in the first one. He got the pilot there. Is it going to be worthwhile? Now he says they're going to they're going to ask questions. So is this just going to be a back and forth question, like you're in court? Question, 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 question. Answer, question, question, question. It sounds like it's just going to be just question, question, 
And then that means that there probably ain't going to be any additional footages or any additional paperwork that we're going to see. It's just going to be questions, 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 questions. And then again, and, and I know you got to ask the questions. I'm not, I'm not saying you can't ask the question, but the problem is, 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 is just, and then we're, our opinion is all going to be based on if we believe that person's um, story, his answers, just like in court. It's like we're gonna we're gonna have to sit there and like believe a bullshitter. You know, who's the bullshitter? Who's not? I mean, that's fine with question, question, questions. If this pilot, I mean, I, I want him to raise his hand and show this is what I saw, this is what I see, and here's the paperwork, here's the actual video or something. That's about the only thing that's that 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 that's gonna make me believe their story. Because I know people know how to talk. I know people know how to bullshit. There are great storytellers. There are great ones. So if they're just going to talk back and forth, for me, not, that's not going to be good enough. That's not going to be good enough. I've heard these people speak their stories along. I, I'm going to need something to see to back up their answers, whatever the question is coming out to them. And who is going to answer the question? That's that's the thing. We don't know. That's the thing. We don't know who's going to answer the question. So, listen. We're, we're going to end the show soon. We're going to end the uh, show soon. But, again, my expectation is here. Down here. So, they have the opportunity to make me believe in the system. They do. They, they, they have that opportunity. Make me a believer. Make, make, it, make me think that this conference was worth it. I want to believe. But I keep my expectations here. Because if you're going to have your expectations here, and you get here, it's going to crush you it's going to it's going to mess you up even more. It's going to it's going to mess you up. So with these things people just don't have your expectations of here. Like I said earlier in the show, like those certain movies you went and saw your expectations here and when you saw you're so disappointed, you're so pissed off. Keep it here. And make them prove it to you. That's what I say. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. You know, if you're going to put this on TV, you're going to have this conference that's going to be broadcast all around the world. Yes, the expectations are going to be much higher. Yes. If you're going to put yourself in the limelight, yes, I do expect you to show us something that we haven't seen. I expect that. If this was just behind the doors, Closet, I could give her ass ass, but if you're gonna make a specul uh, spectacle out, out of it, yes, I do want more. But guys, just keep your expectations here because I don't want to see anybody get pissed off when it's done. Because, uh, you know, and hey, listen, at the 26, if we could all come back and just have a smile on our face and like finally, that's what we all want. But will, will we get it? <laughs> will we get it? <laughs> That's a question. Uh, thanks so much, Eric, for another amazing show. I'm happy to catch you live because it's been hard catching you live with the new with the new baby and the hospital. But he's coming out. He's coming home soon, and I appreciate you. Hey, congratulations on having a baby. Because congratulations, because man, babies until they're out of your house. Oh, my God. So, guys, tomorrow, Jim and Jay is coming on the channel. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about uh, what's it like being a medium, uh, what's involved. Can you can you outcome somebody's future if you know something? So we're going to dive in deep on that. And then Friday and Thursday, we're going to dive in deep into um, uh, what, what, what does exploring Harley do on a paranormal investigation? What does he take? What kind of equipment? What does he do? What is his research? 
How did he focus? You know what I mean? What does he do when he goes on investigation? We're going to dive deep into that. I want to know what somebody does on investigation. I want to know how they do their research. And Because for me, knowing how somebody does their research does a lot for me because I know that whatever he comes up with, I can say, you know what? He does it, he does it the way I like him to do it. You know what kind of equipment? You know, how does he know he's talking to a spirit? So that's going to be a fun show, too. Then Friday is going to be a Bigfoot show. I don't have a guest yet for Friday. I'm working on it. Uh, beyond that, you guys have a great day. And again, I apologize for the StreamYard issues in the beginning. I just, I guess I just, I can't use uh, Google Chrome anymore. I'll just use Microsoft Edge from now on. So you guys won't see that issue no more. Beyond that, have a great day. Have a great time. And I'll see you all next time on the Paranormal Highway.